Uh, Irina, wait. I have to go already. Here, take this. You might need it later. Isn't this too much? Your card is blocked right now, isn't it? So please, take it, I insist. All right then, thank you. No problem. You're not leaving the house today? No, not today. Maybe once I'm done with all these checks I have to go through. Are they still checking on you? They sure are. That's strange. Igor promised that he would help. What? Promise to whom? Have you discussed this with anyone else? Well, I... I just wanted to. Irina. Let me just be clear. I will take care of everything myself. Hmm? I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I really am. I'll see you. Thank you. Mr. Palagin. Valeria, it's simple. I want you to convince my children they will be better off living with me. Use any method, even offer them money since they want that now. <laughs> but please do me a favor. Be as kind and warm-hearted as you can. May I? Huh? Mr. Palagin, why did you choose me of all people? I'm curious. You happen to be the best in the field of child psychology. <laughs> that means you trust me. That's uh, good. Hmm. All right, then. So I'll decide which method. Clear? Leave it to me. Hmm. I'm on it. Give me a second. What Here is you it? Go. Oh, thank you. Can of I course, one? I have thank one you. for you. <laughs> I'll start them off with something concrete, but simple. Right. What's her character? Your little girl? Oh. Excuse me, Valeria, but do you have any children of your own? Or are you married, perhaps? And how is that relevant? <laughs> I can see that you're still in good shape all this time. I'm trying. So, Daria, how much did it all cost you? For the buildings and the equipment, I mean. Why, do you want to set up a business with me, huh? <laughs> it's a bad idea. Especially since I'm married to Victor, so no one bothers me. But for you, is now single? You're not a Palagin. It's impossible. <sighs> Everyone will try to take advantage of you, Irina. Well, I'm certainly not a businesswoman. I still need to find a good job. Something to keep me busy. <laughs> that sounds really nice. In my honest opinion, a job? That word itself isn't really a good word. It's not what you need. At least I think so. And Andre isn't exactly poor, so I see no reason why you need to find a job. That's not the point. 
Then what then? I want to be able to support myself. Yeah. <laughs> Irina, a fancy woman, receives no love and is there for the money, so when you start taking both, you're more like a family where everything you have, you end up sharing. <laughs> this all sucks, Andre. It doesn't make sense to seek the protection of the law. They will win. Take a look. Everything has a loophole. We need to use the contracts that we have. Irina already spoke to her husband. It turns out it was Anastasia's father, not Igor Palagin. That's surprising. Well, it's not like I don't understand him. It makes sense. A man of influence, another well-known person in the city, makes an announcement for his daughter's wedding. So he invites people in power and organizes this very expensive event. And what does the groom end up doing after all that? Have you thought about that? Of course it's a scandal. You have to talk to Anastasia. I have to? There's no way I'm talking to her again, Alexei. What's going on with you? Since we've met, I've always known you to be business-minded. You're unprincipled. Of course I mean that in the good sense of the word. Remember that love comes and goes. But business, it stays. But only if you keep it around. <laughs> What's so funny? Is this all a joke to you? You're a strange man. <sighs> strange. You said it comes and goes. But here I am feeling this like never before in my life. And I won't exchange it for anything. I know what you're saying. I also like being loved, you know? Like Daria, for instance. Hold on. Daria's married to the mayor. Yes. Then I'll ask her for help. She'll definitely listen to me if I bring it up with her. Alexei, I don't know about this. But fortunately, I know. Fortunately, I know. So where exactly are we? You said you wanted to find a job. Right. So that's why we're here. Is this the ministry? <laughs> so a friend of mine works here. He's a deputy minister. So he's this wizard of a person and a sentimentalist to the core, which honestly drove me up the wall when you used to go out. So you have affairs with ministers too? Believe it or not, nothing happened <laughs> between the two of us. He was chasing after me about five years ago. I'm telling you, if it wasn't for Victor, I wouldn't know how things would have ended with him. <laughs> you never cease to surprise me, Daria. It was all pretty innocent. It was just flowers and kisses. <laughs> Ladies first. What you said about the beating a while ago is actually very you. All right, everyone. Today we'll be learning how to rescue someone who's drowning. Matve, come on, your turn. I can't make it to the shore. Until we master this exercise, no one will swim in the water, got it? All right, begin. Help me, I'm drowning. Good. Somebody please help me. Take him by the head. If you grab his arm, he'll drown you too. Stop it, he said by the head and not by the hair. Can you please let go of Stop me? complaining. Stop. That's you're enough, you two. You're trying to hurt me. Ugh. I'm trying to save That's you. That's enough. Matvey Palagin, your dad is waiting for you at the entrance of the camp. You can complain to your daddy when you get there, Floater. Tell him I beat you. Go back to your seat. Any volunteers? All right. My dear Renat, it's this simple. Irina here received a brilliant education, has an excellent knowledge of English, and she even used to write articles for a fashion magazine. <laughs> See? She's a talented person, so we'll need something like, uh, uh, full employee benefits and a flexible timetable in the salary. Competitive? Doable? Right, Irina? I'd be <laughs> honored if that was the case. Well-educated people with a good command of language are always welcome here. But she's been unemployed for a while. No, 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 Renat, I promise. It's not going to be an issue here. All of you have gone sour here, Renat. Sour, I tell you. Why not bring in a fresh perspective into your staff to bring it to life? <laughs> and voila. <laughs> Maybe. I'll give it some thought. Is it true that your husband's being promoted to the capital? <laughs> Maybe. I heard it was on a table. A pity. I wanted to discuss something. It's about the land allotments, you see. There are some contracts that we... Mm. Excuse me, could you leave us for five minutes? Yes, of course, excuse me. Come here! 
I'm so happy you came to visit. <laughs> now why wouldn't I visit you here? So tell me, how's your time here? It's so boring here. Can we go mm, home? Home. We'll go, but not right now, so wait. Where's mom? Did she come with you to visit? Your mom's busy. She couldn't come. I'm sure she will soon enough. I wish she was here since I miss her. But why don't you take a look at who's with me instead? This is Valeria. She'll be having classes with you. What kind? You can tell me the kinds that you like. Nice to meet you. Uh, Valeria here is a uh, professional. I'll take it from here. Uh, Excuse us. I'd like to talk to your son for a while. Now is a good time to get started. So I'll leave you with her for now. Mr. Palagin, why don't we walk around and see the camp? You've already paid dearly to be here. We might as well make it worth our while. Will you give us a tour? Oh, with pleasure. With pleasure. This way. Please follow me. Right. This venture wouldn't have been possible without your help, Mr. Palagin. So I'd be honored to show you around. Come this way, please. This way. You know, I love these cookies. I love them a lot. I can eat a lot of these at any given time. You want to try it? Yes, please. Here you go. There. I bet I can chew louder than you. I can beat you. No, but I'm louder. Can you tell me what type of mammals you like? Turtles like that one. So it's turtles. Mmm. But turtles are reptiles. What about your favorite mammal? Then I like bears. All right, bears then. Have you made any friends during your stay here at the camp? No, I haven't yet. Mmm. That's all right. But Vey, I want to talk to you about something, all right? Uh -huh. okay. What a cheap's Kate. He asks for 49 acres just like that, as if we own all the land here. Oh, and by the way, as you can see, that bastard's not willing to pay you. So you'll have to make do with what you have for now. Who knows, maybe Igor will give you something, right? So what was that back there? I still have no idea what happened. Does it matter? They'll call you to explain anyway. Have you noticed? <laughs> All the girls that work at the ministry are only beautiful young ladies, and it's worse the higher you go. <laughs> you want to know why? Why is that? It's actually very simple. They all think they're lions. So they surround themselves with the pride of beautiful young <laughs> girls. You see, the higher that you look, the hotter the women. It's all just status. <laughs> so what am I then? Just another trophy? That all depends on yourself. Just twist them around your little finger and you'll be fine. <laughs> you think my husband became mayor just because his brother helped him? <laughs> yes. Then let's pretend I never said that last sentence just now. Do you have an idea when I'm going to start here? They'll call you and tell you everything, Irina. Spare me all this nonsense and negativity, okay? The only thing you have to remember is you need to earn money. Or would you rather stay married? No. Let's get going. Let me tell you about this trick, so you can defend yourself whenever you're getting picked on. Really? You'll teach me? Absolutely, of course. Okay. Hit me on my nose. Use your right hand. Your nose? But I... I'll be fine. See? One more time. Do it slower. <laughs> Do you get it? I think so. All right, now it's your turn. Here. You know what to do. You ready? I'm ready. And go! <laughs> Great job. Great job. So, you know what to do now? Right hand. That's right. Right hand. Now you know how to defend yourself. Now I do. Well done. <laughs> now that you know, you're free to go. Play nice. You promise? Of course. Off you go. How's your progress? He doesn't really respect authority. He obeys his father, unquestioned. That doesn't mean you have authority. To make more progress, I'd like to stay here for a while. Can that be arranged? 
You'll have it. A good perfume. Oh, thank you. So tell me, who will he choose? His mother or his father? Mr. Pelagin, don't pressure them into a decision. Uh, considering his timid nature, he's likely to choose the side that I tell him to without a second thought. <sighs> Excuse us. It was an excellent idea to take their cell phones. Yes, but they can still call their parents whenever they want to using the phone in my office. I too would have banned this as well. Let them live like the Spartans of old did in the wild. A few months without computers or smartphones will set these children on the right path. Yes, 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 you're right. Did you hear what he said? Make sure you take note of, of it. Of course, sir, I definitely will. Matvey! <sighs> now listen. From here on out, you listen to her. Is that clear? All right. Mr. Palagin. No, I'm in trouble too, and it's all because of you and your stupid decisions. Why am I suddenly at fault here? Yeah, love is an infectious <laughs> disease. It's like a chain reaction. Daria, don't tell me you fell in love. Again? You know who it is? <laughs> no idea it's at all. It's that damn Lyovkin is who. Oh, please, you're probably just You know, I thought that it was going to be once, twice, maybe three times at most, and it would say thanks for the company and thanks for everything. Bye, buddy, I'll see you around. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's not. No, it didn't work out that way. I ended up thinking about him, and I've been losing sleep since I'm constantly <sighs> thinking about him. So I'm wondering, what the hell are we? He's just a fancy lawyer working at a firm. Does it really matter to you what he is and isn't? You're right, it totally doesn't matter. By the way, Andre doesn't plan on working for this company forever. And Lyovkin, oh, don't get me started. He's definitely got something up his sleeve as well. I'm telling you that Matt is up to something. Do you remember Maxim? He was an instructor and there was nothing serious going on between us. I ended up firing him, by the way. Maxim? Hmm? That's a pity, he's a good I'm guy. I'm telling you, this love thing is dangerous. Victor's already suspecting me. Imagine, he's suspecting me already. He has suspicions on me. <laughs> Daria, you're driving me crazy. <laughs> I'm seeing a psychiatrist. I've had enough of this. I need to get rid of him, which, by the way, is all your fault now. Of course it is. Daria. Huh? Do you know exactly what you're doing here? Yes, to the psychiatrist. But he's not exactly a psychiatrist. He's a... Sexual specialist. <laughs> You're right. What I need is a sexual specialist. Can't you see I'm shivering? I already have a fever. Even my pulse is accelerated. Daria, you don't have a fever. You're just getting the jitters. You sure? You scare me. Yeah. I'm also scared of me. Hey, tell me something. Isn't this whole thing insane? <laughs> I am a strong woman. Independent, confident, serious, and married already so I can do this. Am I right? And what about you? I'm serious about what I feel. I don't want to treat it. <laughs> but I do. Go on then. I'll be waiting for you out here. Okay. I'm off. That's it. What would you recommend me, Dr. Anatoly? Daria, it is my belief that you understand everything that's happening. Now it's better you stay with your family. A family is important, a foundation needed by every human being. Right. So, instead of avoiding your ex on purpose, you can just simply meet up with him and act like you normally do. I'm sure if you looked hard enough, you'll find that everyone has their flaws. No one's perfect, after all, not even celebrities. Yes, that's true. Even me. Allow me to offer you some special advice. This is tried and tested. Mm -hmm. What you tell him, this doesn't have to be true, mm. is that you want a baby. Now, what this will do is reveal the truth. Because men reveal their true intentions when they hear the sentence immediately. It's the ultimate litmus test. Mm. That totally makes sense. I completely agree, Dr. Anatoly, to be honest with you. I wanted to try that line, but I wasn't sure. You gave me the confidence, so I'll follow your advice. Can I go now? I just can't relax whenever I'm in hospital, so you get it, I'm sure. I'd better go. Uh, uh, at least let me walk you out. Please, I would like that. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for coming. 
It would be a pleasure to have you come by oh, our yes, office. Oh, yes, of course. Tomorrow. Sure. Oh, Irina, it's lovely to see you. Uh, hello there. Uh, it's been a while since your last visit. Why, yes, it has. Why haven't you dropped by since then? Uh, <laughs> but why should I? Well, as your doctor, I can see that you're quite nervous. That's my professional opinion, so take that as you will. Since when have I become your regular patient? I still insist on my observations. It's clear as day to me. You keep saying these things as if you're trying to diagnose me with something like an emotional disorder. <laughs> I have all I need for an accurate diagnosis. Anyone can see it. <laughs> and there it is again. Another fit of hysterics. <laughs> Dr. Anatoly, are you sure you're okay? Any compulsive thoughts or maybe you wake up screaming some nights? Anything else? Go on. Yes. I still recommend that you see us next week. Believe me, this is for your own good. I think I'll pass, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I'm following the advice he just gave me. I'm interested to see where that will take me. <laughs> Hang on. Why do you keep insisting on something like that to me? Honestly, I think he's insane. Did you notice his nose when he looked at us? <laughs> it kept really? flaring while we had that entire conversation with him. <laughs> Pervert. <laughs> <laughs> Elena, these are the reports and data regarding Irina Pelagin. Here. Encode these in the computer. Let mm. me know as soon as you're finished. Mm. With a case such as this one, we'll have to intervene medically. Will we treat her as an inpatient? If it comes to it, yes. What do you see? This is a tree or a cloud. It's like a cloud in the sunlight. Mm-hmm. And this one? This one looks like a, a house. <laughs> what can you tell me about this picture? This looks like a very angry dog. <sighs> very well then. Everything's clear to me. Hmm? You're like this turtle here. See? You're uh, hiding inside yourself. Do you have friends? None. Maybe a few, right? But you also don't have enemies. Although, someone is really bothering you lately. How did you know all that? I know everything. Some may think that you're just a little boy. Hmm? Just a mama's boy. Someone who has never made a decision. Whatever you're told, you just do without question. Matvey, you only need to listen to the people that you trust. You have to learn this. But I'm not a mama's boy. I'm just... All right, then prove it. You have to be independent. For instance, here's a situation. <clears throat> For example, your mom and dad are getting divorced. Do you know what a divorce is? Divorce is a usual thing. Half of the students in my class have divorced parents. Well, you see, you need to choose between the two of them. Now listen to me. Your mom wants to leave. And your dad wants to stay. Your dad wants to stay with you, not your mom. She's leaving you both. Your sister and you. Who will you stay with? But why is mom leaving us? Maybe she got tired of the two of you. Is there a chance that both of them stays? No. No, Matvey. It doesn't work like that. Now listen. Tell me, do you have someone who is trying to disturb your life right now? Yes, I do. Does this someone have a name then? His name is Sergei. So it's Sergei. Listen, you have to do all you can so that this Sergei won't disturb you moving forward. Like killing him? <laughs> Nothing like that. Punish to the extent that you can so that he understands that he can not continue to have influence over you and that you can decide for yourself. Is that clear? But I don't know how. I can tell you if you want to. Please tell me. All right. Come on.
We're here. It's so peaceful here. Mm -hmm. Someone's calling us. Is it yours? Oh, here it is. It's mm -hmm. mine. Right, it's from the office. I have to take this call. Yes? Mm. What? L listen, if they want to, let them check the older documents we have there on file. Listen, I, I won't be I won't be available today or tomorrow. All right, okay. Take care. Mm-hmm. Hello, my love. Call me back as soon as you get this message I left you, all oh, right? That's right? I'm worried about you. There. I switched off my phone. I feel like someone's out there watching the two of us. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Don't you think so? Really? <laughs> Who would come here to watch us? Rabbits? <laughs> Let them. I don't really mind. As long as I'm with you. Kids, pack yourself this way. So what do you eat here as food? Just food. <laughs> Why isn't mom with you? As I told you earlier, I'm here due to business. Thank you. Though I did bring someone with me. Don't look at me like that. It's not what you think. She's a psychologist. She just wishes to speak with the two of you. Are the two of you finally getting the divorce? It's more like your mother has decided to quit on our marriage. You don't look surprised. Why should I? You know, Dad, um, it's been a long time since Mom loved you. <laughs> what makes you say that? Isn't it obvious? <laughs> so in the end, she... never had affection for me in the first place? Maybe she did before. Maybe when you got married? But I'm not so sure. <clears throat> and later? She definitely didn't. <laughs> you... You sure have grown up, haven't you? And it makes me proud. <laughs> you know, it's normal for my age. <laughs> Has she already met someone new? <sighs> The guy you were punching? My friend showed me that video of you in a fight. <laughs> I know you'll figure it out, so I don't need to see a psychologist. Don't worry, I'm not harming myself. Maria, stop with this nonsense. She's also with child services, aside from being a psychologist. It's a necessary formality. So you're taking this to court? Most likely. That's great. Maybe that's the best time to do something. Or maybe you'll ship Matt Vey and I off to Australia. To Australia? Uh, you're serious? No, I was just kidding. Well, I can. <sighs> I have to go. I've been trying to reach them for several days now. Hmm? I can't get through to either of my kids. Maybe there's no signal. I don't think so. I think it's fine. Mm. I keep calling their phones, but no one picks up. It's like they don't have them. All right. Ah, it's Lyovkin. Yes, yes, are you here? Ah, uh, all right, all right. Can Alexei even help? Not sure.
can I use my telephone? Matve, you're not allowed to use your phone in the campus we've agreed before, so I can't do that. Everyone else will start asking for their phone. Excuse me, can I use your telephone? <laughs> what for? I just wanted to talk to my mom. It's urgent. Uh, Matve, have you already decided what to say? I haven't decided anything. I just want to talk to her today. Matve, you can't just call her out of the blue. She'll want to know who you'll pick. She'll ask you, are you ready for that? No? Prove to me that you've grown up. Go on. Matve, don't you see? You haven't decided yet. So you'd better think about this. Okay? All right. <laughs> now go play. Get the documents. Of course, I'm on it. Coming right up. Yeah? What? Don't agree to anything they have to offer. That's our game plan. Just keep answering evasively for now, all right? Pretend that you're mute if you have to. Good, all right, bye. What's up, what's up? Hello, hello. I know you're here to relax, so I'm sorry for being here in the first place. Uh, would you mind if I take your dashing lover for a few minutes of discussion? There's just this crisis and we gotta take care of it first. Okay. I'll be back soon. Whoa. I will miss you. You really will? I will. Me too. <laughs> Read it. Reactions later. All right. Seriously? They froze all our accounts? Yes, everything. Corporate and personal. We won't be able to make transactions. Nothing. Yes, Daria, hello? No, I'm not home. Where are you? In the countryside, Zayachia Poliana. What are you doing in that dump? It's calm and quiet here. Are you alone there with Gavryushov? Yes, I'm here with him along with Lyovkin. Lyovkin? Yes, Lyovkin. What is he doing there? Well, they're talking about something serious, so... It looks like they're trying to resolve it. Do we have contingency offshore accounts for this? What offshore accounts? They cornered us. They have a term for this, one they use in the world of chess. It's called Zugzhuang. <laughs> what is this Zugzhuang? It's true. When it's too late to do anything, it's pointless to struggle. Our only move is to give up. <laughs> <laughs> so funny huh there was a time <laughs> that I'd be mad about this situation we find ourselves in so now now it's as if I but of course those in love never notice anything do they come on what's our plan what's next there is one other option which is to ask Daria to talk to her husband and see if he'd help us and if it doesn't work, well, then that's it. You should come. <laughs> Daria. <laughs> Victor's gone. He, he went fishing with his friends today. Yeah, I think. Wait for me there. I'm coming. <laughs> yes, my darling. Hello, my love. How was your trip so far? Yeah, it's fine. We're, uh, already fishing. Well, I'm just calling so I know if I should wait for you in the morning so I can make you breakfast. Uh, sure, make something nice like sausages. Okay, I love you. I love you too, honey. 
Bye. I'll see you. Zarya. Are you kidding me? Do you Zarya. understand that I'm here to talk about something entirely different, and especially not to walk on this wet grass? I didn't come all the way out here for this. Do you understand me? Do you know exactly what you're asking me to do? Which is? You want me to ask my husband to help the lover of his brother's wife. How do you expect me to do that, huh? <sighs> What's all this? Come on. I'm just showing you the, uh, the landscape so And you... I'm telling you, I'm not telling anyone. Do you even know why I'm here? <laughs> all right then, let's hear what the reason is. Why else would you be here but for me? I've missed you so much, you know. <laughs> but wait, the reason why I came here is... I'm here to tell you that... There will be no us anymore. Yeah, just like that. That's it. So you've driven what? 25 miles? 22 just miles. To, whatever it is. Isn't this something you could have told me on the no, phone? No, this isn't something I could say over the phone. <laughs> Do you know why? Why? It's because I... Respect you so much, Lyovkin. And you know what? It's only with you that I'm giddy like a teen. <laughs> I don't really care about labels, just so you know. Hmm. But what if I suddenly go steady, huh? That doesn't sound too bad. Why don't we do it? <laughs> for real? Yes, for real. I was just joking. No, 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 but no, 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 no. Serious. All right. I want to have a child with you, Lyovkin. <laughs> Daria, I... <laughs> Daria, I just... I... <laughs> I, uh... Certainly didn't expect that. <laughs> what is it now? <laughs> you should see the look on your face, Lyovkin. Now I know everything I needed. Now everything falls into place. What do you mean? You know what? I'll give it to you straight. Your haircut is stupid. It's ugly. And the way you dress? Idiotic. Idiotic, huh? Yep. So we're breaking up, aren't we? Yes, that's correct. All right, but before that, I... Let me hold you in my arms for the last time. Daria, hmm? Let me kiss you. Just once, right here. Right here. No. There. And here. Lyovkin, please right stop here. it. And here. <laughs> Everyone can see us, and it's too wet out here. Hmm? The subscriber is currently unavailable. Please call back later. The subscriber is currently... The subscriber is currently unavailable. Please... You're dirty all over. Look at me. Huh? <laughs> Stop it. Let me go. Hey, stop, it's enough. That's it, I promise. Come on, hurry up. Well, to be honest, I don't know how to deal with her. You know, she's smart for her age Well, group. we'll see. Mr. Palagin, let's leave this to the experts, shall we? Maria! Yes, Dad. Hello. <laughs> nice to meet you. This is Valeria. She's the, uh... We have to go see the, uh, director, right? Right. I'll be back. Maria. So you're here to ask me if I'm having any suicidal thoughts. Or maybe if I see a horse. Or if I fantasize about something. You're a perceptive girl, aren't you? Where did you learn this stuff? <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not going to ask you anything. Why not? My job is to give an opinion about the general capacity of a child or teenager to draw conclusions, whether their conclusions can be taken into account when it comes to making some decisions. Please tell me then, how exactly do you make your assessment? Normally, I gauge the willingness to communicate with other people and other associated skills. So you're saying I'm bad at communicating? You know better. Can I leave? Go ahead.
Hold it. Hello. Why are you back so early? I was at the center. The equipment we ordered got stuck at the sorting warehouse. It ended up becoming a huge mess. <laughs> they ended up dumping the equipment on the railroad tracks. It was a madhouse, so I had to go there myself to try fix the problem. That's how it went. That's it. Look me in the eye. Hmm? <laughs> Daria? My Daria? This is what I ask you to do. It's not the signatory for this document. Excuse me, I've been sitting out there all morning and... No one has really explained to me what my job is all about, so I was thinking that maybe you could tell me what to do? This conversation never leaves this room, clear? Yes, of course. Thing is, due to circumstances, I can't hire you anymore. As everyone in this establishment is one way or another connected to your husband. To avoid unnecessary conflict? Yes, we have rules we need to follow. I understand. <laughs> but this I promise you. Once you're fine, I will personally welcome you back here with open arms. It's a shame, really. I was really looking forward Don't to working with you. Don't worry about it. Oh. You can't help it, right? There is one more thing I'll ask of you. Please tell Daria that you decided on your own. Uh, she might end up feeling bad, you Don't see. Don't worry, I will. Please tell her I've done everything I could. Of course. Excuse me. Goodbye. Goodbye. Yes, hello? Hello? You know, Irina, I've been thinking. I'm fed up with this. I'm done lying. You managed, but I can't do it. I just want to live with the man I love, and I want to stop pretending already, because it's just too much. We're all liars, Irina. Everyone's lying to each other, like when we say one thing, but we really mean the other, so there's no one we can trust. Actually, I'm seeing a doctor. The psychiatrist? What psychiatrist? I'm seeing a dentist. I'll tell you what happened later. <laughs> yes, hello? Hello? Good afternoon. I'm Matvey's mother. He's enrolled in your camp for the summer. Uh, can I have your family name, please? Oh, it's Balagin. Ah. Uh, let me, uh, go get Matvey. I won't be long. Or you could call back in a few minutes from now. No, no, I can wait. All right, then. Please wait. One moment, one moment. Come on. Hello, Mom. Hello, honey. How are you? I've been worried sick about you. I'm okay. When are you coming here? I will be there soon. But when? Well, maybe in a few days or something, I promise. Uh, why do you ask? Well, I was just curious. Okay, Mom, I have to go now. All right. Bye. Uh, Maria, I have to get back to work. Valeria will be staying here for now. She'll be at Matvey's camp, but she will come and see you here, so I hope you don't mind. Yes, Mom. Hello, Maria, honey. Why weren't you answering my calls? I've been calling for days now. Is everything all right? Everything's fine. Just deciding if I'm going to Australia or New Zealand soon. What do you mean by that? What I mean is, Wait, I'm just deciding Maria, what to hello? do once you're divorced. Your father's with you? Yes, he's here. Hello, Irina. He's standing right beside me. He's alone? No, he came with some psychiatrist. Wait, That's who? enough. He might be using her to get us to turn against you. Wait, hello? Hello. Disgusting. Hello. What the hell is going on over there? Explain yourself. Nothing is going on. Is it really nothing? Don't worry, they're both fine. They're both doing well here. <laughs> it's all good. Then I'm coming to see them. There's no need to. Besides that, well... 
be asking too much of you, right? What about you? I'm here on business. I have associates here. I was already in the area, so I simply decided to drop by. Then I'm going there anyway. I already promised Makvei. I had this feeling that something's wrong since they weren't answering my calls for several days now, so be honest with me. What Australia? What was Maria talking about? Yes, a summer in Australia, which I'll pay for. That's it, I'm coming. There's no need for you to. I'm telling you, they're doing fine. I forgive you. You should get going. Boris, do we have connections at the airport? We have few. Make sure that she never gets to board a plane for a year. Better if for good. Now, Valeria. Oh. Your work begins now. Oh. All right. Officer Branislava, you must be mistaken. We're prepared to cooperate with you. We know there's no point hiding from you, and why complicate things? We admit having these violations as a company, just like everyone. There's no everyone here, just you. Well, of course. We understand that now. We're prepared to take the punishment through administrative proceedings, and we understand that there are fines that must be settled. We know that. Don't be too hasty in saying this will end in an administrative hearing. This is a criminal case with the prospect of imprisonment should you be found guilty. The results will be based on the results of the investigation. My only function is to inform you. Miss Bronislova, I'm begging you. <laughs> Tell me what I need to do here. Help me prepare for what's coming for me. Are you planning to build a criminal case against me, or can we still agree under the terms of a bail that we can Andre. settle? What are you trying to say? This isn't a market. There is no bargaining. That's where you're wrong. <laughs> Of course I can make a bargain. And you know this as well as I do. Why are we wasting our time here? Let's just agree. It'll be easier for the both of us, wouldn't it, huh? Just imagine the scenario we could be in. You tell me you have violations that can lead to a prison sentence. Don't like it? Pay the fine! Andre. How easy is that? <laughs> we wouldn't be wasting our time running around in circles like this, right? Is your client here currently of sound mind? Are you intoxicated? Have you gone insane? Are you crazy or what? Do you understand what you just did in there? I'm serious this time. Break up with Irina. Why are you even going after a married woman with two children in the first place? Talk to Anastasia. Don't you understand that her father will do everything he can do to destroy you? You've gone completely insane. Do you hear what I'm saying? Of course I hear you! The only time I'm leaving her is when I go to prison. That will be the only reason. You've really lost it. A complete idiot! I'll be going to prison too, you know! Please remember! This isn't your business alone, this is my business too! I've given ten years of my life for this and look at what you ended up doing! Everything down the drain! All this just for some woman?! <laughs> Alexei! I love Irina. Nothing will keep me away from her. Fine. But at least hear me out. P please don't ruin it. I'm begging you, as your friend. We've taken large loans with no way of... paying them back since they froze all of our accounts. I'm telling you, we will lose everything. Everything. My mom can't go back to work anymore. If I go to prison, she'll... Look, from now on, I'll be acting independently of you. Okay? All right. Take care. Anastasia. Hello? We need to talk. Please hurry. Mrs. Pelagin. Yes? Will you please come with me? 
What's this about? It's nothing. This won't be long. This way, please. Hmm. 